Freedom! Yes, freedom to talk to you here. Over here by this rock. Way over here. Over by this tree over here. And of course, right here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new Rode Wireless Go, which you can see just attached here to my jumper. Now this video has very little to do with landscape photography, in fact it's more to do with vlogging and the tech used in it. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel uh, and you're looking for a landscape photography video, this is not one of those videos, so by all means tune out, but do come back next week where I've got a dedicated landscape photography adventure video. But if you are interested in some of the tech or you're part of the wider vlogging community, then stay tuned because this video might be of interest to you. Okay, before I tell you why I bought this microphone, let me just quantify this video. This isn't going to be a full review. I'm not an audio engineer. I'm just a vlogger. I'm a guy that goes out, takes landscape pictures, and I vlog about my adventure. So it's relatively simple for me when it comes to video. Nice, good audio input. Nice video. Basic bit of editing in, uh, when I get back. Uh, so I like to keep things as simple as possible. So if you're looking for an in-depth review, with all sorts of audio quality tests. That's not going to be this video, but I am going to share with you why I bought it uh, and some uh, what I like about it, and then maybe just a couple of the limitations. So why did I get a wireless microphone system? Well, I'm always looking to lighten my kit bag and make things as easy as possible when it comes to creating videos. When I first started vlogging, I was shooting with a Sony RX100 Mark IV, an absolutely fantastic vlogging camera, apart from one thing didn't have a mic input. So I had to buy a lav mic and a Zoom H1, which obviously gave me really good audio quality and it gave me the uh, ability to roam about the scene uh, without being tied to the camera. But I always had to do this or that um, just so I could sync up the audio later on when I got back and started uh, production on the video. Now it's a bit of a faff, sometimes it didn't always work, especially if you're working in windy conditions and the audio on the camera there didn't really give you a good, good signal so you couldn't get or you couldn't easily get those audio files matched up. And it was just, just a bit of a faff. And now I've moved on to the Panasonic G80, which is a camera I'm shooting this video on. And this has a microphone input. So that was a, a big win for me, really simplified uh, my workflow. I plugged in a microphone uh, and the audio was baked straight into the video file. Now, the problem with that is I'm now tied to the camera. So whether it's a lav mic or whether it's a microphone just there on the top of the hot shoe, I kind of had to stay reasonably close to the camera and reasonably within the frame. So it kind of tied me down a bit. So when Rode announced this wireless Go system and I saw the price, I thought this could be the perfect microphone for my vlogging setup. So that's why I've bought this system. Let me tell you what I like about it. First of all is its size. I've got a little... This is a little microphone here, just attached to my, my jumper, and the receiver on the camera is about the same size. These units are really small and really dinky, very portable. They come in a little pouch, but you can keep them in, and that'll slot into your gear bag, no problem at all. In fact, the receiver up there is so small, you could probably just leave it on your camera. The microphone here, again, really simple and easy to set up. Now, it's got a built-in microphone, so you don't need to have a separate lav mic. Now, it does have a microphone input, so if, for example, you thought this was stuck in the way a little bit, it doesn't bother me, as it can be fine for my videos, you can always clip that around the back and then still run the lav mic up to the, uh, up to the person there, and you're still going to get good audio quality. But I don't need that. I'm quite happy to have that just attached there. I can always turn it around as well. It comes with a couple of furry cats as well so you can put those on it's quite a bit of a breeze up here on Dartmoor today so that's really doing a good job of cutting that out some other things I like about the setup as well was in fact the setup it was incredibly easy these units come paired out of the box you literally take them out of the box you power them on and you're ready to go it's as, it's as simple as that there's no pairing of devices or selecting frequencies it is literally ready to go out the box and um, there's not much to do anything on, on this particular unit. Like I said, it's got a mic input, it's got a power on button, um, and it's got a couple of LED status lights. Over there on the receiver, there's a bit more to it. It's obviously the audio out that then goes into the mic input of your camera. And there's a button there for setting the audio output level. So it's got three different settings. It's got a little LCD display on the top as well. And that shows you the battery status of both units and your audio input level. So you get a little bar graph going up and down just so you can check that you're getting your correct audio. And um, they're both got rechargeable batteries built in. They charge up via USB sockets. Rode uh, handily give you two USB uh, charging cables. It's USB type C, so it's a, the latest standard. And 
Um, they last about, I think it's five to six hours. But the good thing is, um, because it's USB, you can use a portable USB battery pack and you can charge them up on the go. And you can even use them um, while you're still charging them. So it's a really handy feature for those longer days of videoing. And now for the most important part of any microphone system, the audio quality. Well, like I said at the top of this video, I'm not an audio engineer, so I'm not gonna give you a detailed analysis of the audio wave file. But what I will say is, for the type of content that I create, for being out in the landscape, uh, just wanting to create vlogs and adventure videos, the system has been absolutely perfect for me. Not only has it untied me from the camera, but it gives me really good audio quality. When I import my video files back in and I start pr production on the video, I've had no problems with the audio. It's nice and clean, crisp, and it sounds really good. And in fact, I've recorded the whole of this video using uh, the wireless go system itself, so you can listen for yourself. Right, let me tell you about some of the limitations of this product. Now, I say limitations, but the, the, you know what? They're not even really limitations for me, um, but I'll tell you about them anyway so it can inform your decision as well. So it's got a range outside in the landscape like this, roughly about 90 metres. Now, I say that's not a limitation for me because I'm never probably going to want to be 90 metres away from the camera. I would like to be away from the camera, but I'm not likely to be that far away. The other thing is the transceiver here, sorry, not the transceiver, the transmitter, needs to be line of sight with the receiver on top of the camera. So if I was to turn my back and carry on the audio, possibly facing some audio cutout issues there. But again, for me and the type of content that I produce, I'm not like going to want to, to turn my back and still do some audio recording. So those limitations aside, they don't really apply to me. But overall, for me, this is an absolutely fantastic system. It's great for vlogging. And um, if you're looking to free yourself from the camera or just simplify your workflow, then I really think that the Wireless Go is a great system. Okay, that's it. We're just about done here. Now, if you've got any questions about the Rode Wireless Go system, I say it's not an in-depth review, but if you leave me a question in the comments below, I will do my best to try and answer it. And if you want to pick up one of these Wireless Go systems as well, there's a link in the video description below. But that's it here from Dartmoor. Um, now, if you like this content and uh, you want to see more, perhaps some of my landscape photography adventure videos, please do consider clicking on my face there and subscribing to the channel. I'll also include some links in the other corners there to some of my other video playlists, so please do check those out. And of course, um, do check out my blog, which I'll also include a link for. I do uh, write a blog post every single week, so please do check that out. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.